Today I will be showing you how to make this peacock here. And before we start, I wanted to give a special thanks to Jenny Lee, one of my Facebook followers who, based on my penguin design, came up with this amazing peacock design. I had a few requests to do a peacock, so when I saw Jenny's post, I reached out to her to see if she would be okay if I did a peacock tutorial based on her design. She was excited about it. So thank you, Jenny, for letting me share this design with everyone. I made some modifications to the design so that way we can make it on one loom and also to get this peacock here that we have. So anyways, let's get started. What we are going to do is this loom needs to be set in that configuration. And we're going to take single rubber bands at a time. And if you want this size here, this tail here, is 10 pegs long. And I made an example here just so you can see this is 12. So if you want to do the 12 length tail, you can or you can do the 10, it's just really time consuming for either, but it's up to you, you decide which one you wanna do. So today I'm going to show you how to do the 12 peg design. So what we're gonna start with, we're gonna put a single rubber band on the third peg from the left, and then we're going to take two single rubber bands and put it for the next eight pegs. So that's one, two, two single rubber bands, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the last one we're putting a single rubber band, the ninth, and there should be ten pegs that you have rubber bands on. So the two end pegs there will have single rubber bands and the rest will have two. And now you can use any color you want. I'm choosing to use this green. So now what you want to do is start at the first peg here and you are going to go zigzag. Just loop up one and then from that same peg loop up to the other side creating a V. And you're just going to keep repeating that pattern until you get to this last peg with the rubber band. So you're just doing a V. So now that you have your zigzag, so we're just going from here to here, here to there, and it's all zigzag going across. And now up here, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna start on the very left and go or V, zigzag, zigzag, all the way across. And this should cover 12 pegs at the very top here. And so we're using the whole loom. So now you should have zigzag, zigzag. Remember to always start at the bottom. And if you have two loom, just go ahead and put it together and start at the bottom. And make sure you put these. These are the connector rubber bands. So you want to make sure you have these first. And we're just going to go and creating like a triangle uh, pyramid. So eventually it'll taper off like a pyramid like that. So now after you've done that, we want to cap off the very top with single rubber bands. So go ahead and loop each of those four times. Two, three, four. Again, this is very, very time consuming, but it's worth it. Make sure you push down the rubber bands as you go along so that way we can fish them out later easier. Okay, now that we've done that, we got so we got single rubber bands zigzag all down these pegs, and then now we have capping rubber bands single four times around each peg there. 
And now what you, we want to do is we want to put some holding rubber bands. So for the holding rubber bands, take a single rubber band and stretch it out over three pegs. And just keep going over three pegs, overlapping one. A single rubber band, three pegs at a time. There. So you have, should have, you can use the same color so it doesn't show. So you're going to put one single stretching from here to the third, second from the third to the sixth. Sorry, second one from the third through the fifth, and so on. Just keep doing every three. So now we are taking a holding rubber band again and doing this row here. And again, we want to do every three, taking a single and looping it around every three pegs, connecting just at the last peg. And there's a gap here, so what we just want to do is just go ahead and get it from the end to there. Sometimes it's not spaced evenly, that's okay, there's a gap there, that's all right. It'll still stay together. Let's go ahead and move this holding rubber band here, the very top ones, the ones that are in the second row, go ahead and move it where it's not on the peg, just the middle ones, go ahead and move it over the center peg, just this row. There, so for the holding rubber bands for the second row, you want to move it from the center over the center peg. Each center, just move it over that center peg. And now to loop, you want to go into the cap under the cap band, grab that single rubber band and looping it onto itself and release any tension. If there's any, and do not over pull because you want to break your rubber bands. And then continue down your row and you're going to go ahead and reach under the cap band, grab the top single and looping it onto itself and then grabbing the next single in that same peg and looping it onto itself. There should be two rubber bands per peg there at the very top. So go ahead and continue all the way down. So I, here I am with the last one. Again, I'm going to just reach in, grab the bottom single there, or grab that single rubber band, and then looping it onto itself, releasing any tension. I do not want to break any of my rubber bands. It's a lot of work. So now for the second, this row here, we're going to do the same looping. But here we're going to, if you want to, add some eyes on your peacock and so for that and if you want to do same as the penguin and every other one you can go ahead and take a single rubber band and looping it four times on your hook and you can place it wherever you want on the um, the the rubber bands but I tend to place one here and then I go every other two. So I place one here, skip two, place one here, skip two, place one here, skip two. So that's what I've been doing. And I can show you first how to do this, get this one on, and then like the penguin eye and every other eye, if you want it to look like this with two-tone colors, then you can go ahead and wrap that second color on either side here, a single rubber band, and then pulling it right onto the rubber band. So again, same way as you looping. Reach in under there, grab that single, make sure it's catching, creating the teardrops, 
and we're going to pull that rubber band onto that single you just pulled out and then looping it onto itself. And the eye color, you can make it any color. I chose blue and you can make purple and there's a variety. You can make it even rainbow if you want. So that's one of the eye. And then I'm going to go ahead and go right under the, those rubber bands there for the next peg. Grab the top rubber band and looping it to itself. And here I am, I'm skipping two, two rubber bands. So it gives it a little space in between. So that peg, these two rubber bands, I'm skipping. And now the next one, I'm going to add another eye. So what I want to do is loop it, take a single, loop it around four times. And this time I'll add a little bit of yellow, like I did here. And I'll use my shiny yellow this time. So any color you want, you're going to loop it twice on one side and twice on the other. And then you want to go in and loop your rubber band, whichever is the top. Just go ahead and pull it where it belongs. And that's not the side I want to pull my eye on. And this is the side I want to pull my eye on. So again, your choice if how far you want to spread them, how close. So this is how I'm choosing to do it. So I pull all the eye off of the hook and then I loop it right onto the peg there. That yellow is a little light. You probably won't be able to see it. So you might want to choose a different color. Um, but that's how you do that one. And again, we're going to continue. I'll show you one more. So I'm going to skip. Here's one rubber band that I looped over. I'm going to go under the rubber band, grab the top one and looping it onto itself. And we're going to grab this one, the next one, and looping onto itself out of that same peg. And now I skip two here. There's two, so I'm going to, I will add another eye right on that rubber band. So I'm going to loop my single. I'm going to alternate my eye. So I'm going to take a single, looping it four times, creating the eye, and then putting it right back on the peg. And I'm going to continue this. And you can continue while I fast forward and stop and resume when you're done. So here I am doing my last eye. Again, I'm gonna, I made it easier by just putting the eye on first and then for every other two, I put my eye on. And for my peacock here, I only put the eyes on this row here and you'll see what I mean. So now that we have everything looped onto the very bottom, rows here. We want to go ahead and take your tail here from the very top and working our way down and don't take it off of this last peg here, this last row. So you want to take it off the top two pegs. So the 12th row and the 11th row. Okay, now that you have taken the tail off and leaving it on the 10th row, we are going to take our loom apart, just the two sides, the top one and the bottom one. Now we're going to shift the top one, I mean the bottom one to the top and the top one to the bottom, still in that same configuration. So that's what you should have. And now 
let's go ahead and start looping and again we're going to concentrate on our pyramid and we're going to keep down now those rows so starting at the bottom peg we are going to take a single and we're going to do our connector rubber in so for, for the very side ones we're going to take one single and dropping it down in the middle ones we're doing two single rubber bands each so keep it going down your row here And then here, one more, and then, then the last peg here, we'll just drop off one because that's the last peg for the, our little pyramid here. One, one, and then two on the insides. And now let's go ahead and start setting our tail up again to loop. So again, we're going to start with this first peg here, loop up, creating Vs. The next peg, connecting it, creating Vs. So we're essentially creating zigzags all the way across like we did before. Now there's your V, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag all the way, our pyramid, keep in mind. And now what you wanna do with the last holding rubber bands, the rubber bands at the bottom, you want to just pull it and connect it. So this single rubber band from the top will go and connect to this peg here. And then there should be two in the next one, next peg with um, next to it. So you want to grab one and pull it onto the next peg and grab the other one and pull it onto the first peg there. So we're going to continue like that, grab one, connecting to the next peg, creating Vs, the next one on that same, from that same peg to this one. Again, we're going on this peg now, we're grabbing one going to this peg, and one going to that peg, creating Vs. So just keep going down the rows. And it doesn't matter which rubber end you put where, just put, take one and put it on one peg and one on the other. And just make sure you push them down because we have to reach in and loop them. So now for at the top here, we're just going to go ahead like we're, act, we're acting like this is, these are cat bands. So we're going to reach all the way under, grab the bottom single, and very gently easing it out and looping it onto itself. And we're not going to add eyes on this row here because it'll be too close together. So we're going to add eyes again on just this row here, the second row in the bottom. So the next one, same thing. We're going to reach in under all those rubber bands, grabbing the top single, looping it onto itself, reach back in that same peg, grab the last single at the bottom, and looping it onto itself. And you're going to repeat it all the way down. So here we are, I'm almost done. Same thing, I'm reaching in, whichever is the top, I'm going to grab it and looping it onto itself. And then grabbing the next one and looping it onto itself. There you go. And now we are working on the next row here. In that row, we want to add our eyes, so go ahead and set it up on your hook. However you want, whichever color you choose. I mean, taking a single blue, wrapping it around my hook four times, taking another, creating that eye. And I'm going to start off with putting the eye onto this side rubber band here, scooching it down, and just pinch it right and scooching it right onto. You can always fix it later once it's on. I'm going to get my next eye, loop it around four times for my next set. So again, I'm going to reach in like we did up top, grab the top single, 
looping it onto itself. And I'm going to skip two rubber bands here. Two lo um, looping rubber bands. So this next one coming here, I will put my eye on, but this one is the top one going here, so I'm going to wait. And this one, I'm going to put my eye on. Remember to reach all the way under, grabbing this rubber band. My two eye, and go ahead and continue down the rest while I work on mine. Here's my last eye, and even if it's oddly placed, some of it, it's not even as you go along your, your tail here. Um, I try to always put an eye on either side, the end rubber bands, so you'll come to a row soon where it's not spaced evenly, but you just have to decide where you want to go ahead and put your eye. And now we're ready to once again take the top two rows off and make sure these do not come off the bottom rows. And we're going to go ahead and flip it again until we get to two pegs. Now that we've done that, Go ahead and take your loom off the front and the back only. Again, put it in that staggered configuration. And now we're ready to do the next set of rows. Again, for the first one, looking at our pyramid. The last one, and then dropping two in between to set up for our holding rubber bands. And again, we're going to do the, the V's and zigzag all the way down. Each peg should have two rubber bands going to the left and going to the right, creating V's. The last one. Now we are going to go under the first rubber band, I mean the first peg with the single rubber band, pulling it onto that peg below it, and then just continue to the next peg, pulling it, creating V's. And now let's go ahead and put our holding rubber bands every three rows, every three pegs, put a single, every three, put a single, and we're going to overlap here, that's okay, so three here, three, three, single, and at the bottom here, three, and since we're missing one, we'll just go ahead and put three here. So now we're ready to loop, go ahead and reach in, once again, do everything. And looping it onto itself. We got the last one, reaching under the single and looping it onto itself. And then now we're going to do the eye on the bottom row. Again, I'm going to alternate. So you can do your eye however you want.
his example of the um, odd placement here, odd number of, um, we're not going to have two in between, so you can decide where you want to put your eye. Okay, now that you've placed your last eye, we are going to go ahead and do the same thing. From the top two rows, we're going to take it off of our loom. Be careful not to let it come off the bottom pegs there. And once again, we are going to take the bottom and the top loom apart. Place it in this dagger configuration. And here our pyramid. We're going we're all, all the way down to four pegs. So go ahead and put your single at the two ends there. And then two single on the so one single on each end and two in the middle. And let's go ahead and start placing our V formation zigzag. Now that's done, go ahead and grab your single, looping, creating Vs. The next peg, grab the two rubber bands, creating Vs. One going to different pegs. Go ahead, use your rubber bands in creating those holding rubber bands. This is perfect. You have three for every single. And here, I only have four pegs, so I'm just going to take two single rubber bands and wrap it around three each. And now let's go ahead and start looping. Same way, reach under, grab the single. We're almost done here with our tail. Always check to make sure that you have teardrops and that you're catching the bottom rubber bands. So now for these, we're going to add eyes, the bottom row there. Take your single, loop it four times, make what eye, ever eye you want. This is my last eye, and this, after this, we'll go ahead and rearrange our um, loom again. And for the last time, it'll be the last time. So there you go. Now, let's go ahead and take the back rows off our loom. Okay, now let's do our last row. So go ahead and take your single rubber bands and make your Vs. And now we're going to pull those connector rubber bands, single from the side. and attaching it, creating these. Now we're going to take our holding rubber band, our last one, and putting it on that three peg. 
and let's go ahead and loop once again we're going to go going to go under grabbing the bottom single and looping it onto itself the next peg the top single at the very bottom and looping it very carefully do not break your rubber bands right back onto itself and now here go ahead and reach in and grab the last looping onto those two pegs at the very bottom Make sure you reach under, grab the bottom rubber bands. Okay, we are pretty much done. And then go ahead and take your, for the tail that is, take two single rubber bands, whatever the color of your body is, and then go ahead and put it across the last two pegs. Push it down a little bit. And now we are going to transfer all your tail right onto those two rubber bands. What you want to do is get under those rubber bands, grab your tail rubber bands, and pulling it right onto those two rubber bands there. That's one side transferred. On the other side, same thing, you're going to grab, go under those two body rubber bands, pull the tail rubber bands right onto them. And now you transfer the tail onto the body rubber band. And we are going to put it to the side to add to the body for later. And that's your tail. Once again, if you use the uh, darker yellow, you can probably see better. But this is actually kind of pretty because it's shiny and it's not too loud. So go ahead and put your tail on the holding hook for later. That's your tail. So now let's make the peacock. We'll start with the beak. For the beak, we'll need a single rubber band. I'm using yellow and I'm going to loop it five times. If you can't do five, go ahead and do four. So I'm doing five times around my hook, and then I'm going to take a single, I'm going to double it, and I'm going to pull it right onto that rubber band. And I don't want it to do it on the loom because you can do it on the loom, but I don't want to do it on the loom because it stretches the rubber band out a little more. And now we're going to take another single yellow and we're going to do the same thing. Just go ahead and pull that beak right onto the one that's already on the hook. Onto that rubber band we just looped on. And there you go. And now go ahead and take a single rubber band, which is the body color, and my peacock here is blue. And the color that I'm using is um, Ocean Blue by Rainbow Loom. You go ahead and take a single band and put your beak on there for later. So there's your beak. And if you want it to make it longer, you can add another band, but a yellow and doubling it, but that's up to you. And for the feet, this one I made right here at the base I made using two single rubber bands doubling it but it's up to you if you want to make it this thick but I think I'm going to make it a little thinner like his toes so I'm just going to take a single rubber band I'm going to double it three times down the end of my loom there one two three and now let's make the web part of his feet or his toes. We are going to take a single rubber band and we're going to loop it four times on your hook. 
we're going to take a single, we're going to double it, and go ahead and pull those rubber bands white on your, like that. Now take another single, double, and this is one of his toes. And after you do that, go ahead and put it on the end of the loom there where his foot is. So go ahead on the loom, attach one of his toes, I guess, onto there. So there's one and we'll need to do two more. Again, single, loop it four times. Take a single, double it, pull the four onto your rubber band and then loop it. And then take another single, same thing, mine's a little slippery. Take another single, double, pull that last one on and hook it. That's the second. Okay, now the third one, same thing. Take a single, double, I mean loop it four times. Take a single, double it. And loop it onto your hook and then do another one. And you can do this on the loom too. It's like doing a single and then capping it off four times. But I did it, I tried it before and it stretched out the toes so I wanted to do it on the hook. So there's one of his foot and let's go ahead and loop it. And what you wanna do is get right to the bottom and grabbing the bottom two rubber bands. If you want, use your finger to separate it. And grabbing the bottom two, hold down his little toes or her little toes and pull it and looping it right onto itself. Keep doing that and then when you're at the end, go ahead and take two single rubber bands, the color of the body, whichever color you're using, and go ahead and pull it through to hold your foot for later. And take it off carefully, don't break your rubber band. This one of her foot. And now let's make the other. Same thing, we're going to take a single, double, and put it at the end of your loom three times. Now we're going to take a single, loop it four times, take a single, double it, pull it through, Another one. Another toe, two, three, four. Make sure you get all the rubber band on there when you're transferring. Don't lose it, otherwise your foot will come apart.
And when you're done, go ahead and loop up and put it on two single body, same color rubber bands like we did before. Go under the, all those toes, rubber bands. Grab the bottom two. Jeer very gently. Don't break your rubber band. And remember to use a metal hook to make these little animals. There's her second toes, her foot. Okay, now let's go ahead and make her body. So we have the beak and the feet. And now with the body, we're going to take two single rubber bands with the loom in, in that configuration. Two single rubber bands at a time, starting with the head. Go ahead and either side, diagonally, and down one. And then go ahead and bring it to the chin. And always remember for the chin peg to push it down. Don't let it over, um, overlap. Again, on the other side, same thing. Down one, diagonally. Down one. And then inwards towards the chin. And from the center, for the center of the face, we're going to work from the top in and then center to the chin. There, and always check to make sure your rubber bands are not overlapping and that they're pushed down. And now let's do the neck and we're gonna make the neck kinda like the horse and the giraffe. We're going to take a single rubber band for the side of the neck and we're going only two down. Same thing for the other side, one, diagonally and two down. And then for the center of the neck, because we want to give a good, solid, um, strong neck, we'll use three single rubber bands. And go ahead and put it down. One, two, one, two. Okay, now let's do the body. Go ahead and take two single rubber bands diagonally and down two. Let's go one more, down three. We don't want her body to look so small. So let's go ahead and do it on the other side. Diagonally, down three. And now we made the feet prior. Go ahead and get out your feet. And we are going to loop each end of the feet here, the loops here, from this one to that one or that one to that one. You choose. So get it on to her bottom, like so. And then repeat on the other side. Now we'll do her belly here. Let's go ahead with the torso here. Since you could use three rubber bands, but I'm gonna use only two because it's gonna be a lot of rubber bands over here. I guess it's all right, but we'll go ahead and use two just on this one. So that way there's not too many to look through to loop later. And then we'll use three for the rest of her belly to give her some bulk. That's two rubber bands here, three here, three here, and then three there. Okay, and now let's go ahead and add 
her beak. So get her beak out and we'll go ahead and put it right there. And for the eyes, we haven't made that yet and we're going to make that now and we're going to make it like the dolphin eyes or the penguin eyes, sorry. And the penguin eyes, we're going to take hers here are black and white and I'm going to do it the same way so if you know how to do the dolphin I mean the penguin eyes go ahead and do that take a single black loop it four times take a single white loop it twice on one side and twice on the other same thing with the other one single loop it four times twice on one side twice on the other. And if you can't do this, refer to the baby panda. Although you had to do a lot for the, the tail. So now we're going to take a single blue that's matching her body and go ahead and slip all the eye parts right onto that rubber band. And we are going to go ahead and put it on that same peg, the same two pegs as the beak and split out the eyes and then pull the center over that second center peg there. So now let's do her wings and her wings I made it kind of special. I was looking at the animal picture and their wings weren't that prominent sticking out or anything so I made it like this so let's go ahead and make it like this. And it's an attachment like the elephant's ear but it's real small so let's go ahead and do it. You can use whatever color you want. And here I'm going to use a green first. So just skipping down a peg, we're going to put a green diagonally and we're going to make it a little colorful. I'm going to use a peachish pink here. Put it one down and then a slightly purple in across. So I'm making it like a tiny C. And now this is going to go against her body. So I'm going to use the same color as the body, two blues. So that's what I have. And we are going to cap it off. And I'm going to use a yellow. Down here, we're going to cap it off, just looping it once there. And now we're doing a holding rubber band. So I'm going to take one that's matching this side band here. So I'm going to take that single band, double it, and just putting it on this little triangle there. And remember, don't um, mix your single down there with that holding rubber band when you're looping. So go ahead and reach under the cap band, grab the first top single rubber band there, which is the blue for the body, and looping it onto itself, reach back in, grab the next rubber band, looping it onto itself, and now we're going to grab past that um, holding rubber band, grabbing that single rubber band underneath and looping it onto itself and then do that for the green. If there's any tension, release it and let's finish up with that blue. Now this one will go on the left side of the body here and we are going to put it where the body starts so that's two four five pegs from the top so now I'm going to do what I did with the elephant's ear I'm going to transfer this part to the fifth peg and this yellow part here to the seventh peg so with my hook I'm going to take it off the loom on one side grab with my finger on the other Pull it carefully off the loom, so that's what you should have. Now we are going to transfer it onto the loom. First I'm going to put the cap band, that yellow band, right onto the seventh peg. And then we are going to transfer the other part, the upper part, onto the fifth peg from the top. And make sure you put all the rubber bands on there, and then go ahead and don't loop it over that sixth peg. Everything should be out to the side. So you're just attaching it here and here. 
So now we are going to make the right wing for this side. So same thing, we're going to do it on this side now. Exact same thing. So first I'm going to take my green and I'm going to loop it from this peg to that peg. I'm going to take my pink peach here, it's more pink, and loop it down the center, one peg. Take my little purple and loop it, creating the C now facing towards me. Now we're going to close off that C with the body rubber band, two of them down the side. And we are going to take that yellow to cap it off. Just loop it once onto that end peg there, the bottom peg. And now take that peach again, single, double it to create the holding rubber band. And go ahead and loop. First reaching in, grabbing the top single and looping it onto itself. Reaching back in, grabbing the bottom single, holding the cap band and looping it onto itself. And again, pulling back the cap band, I mean the holding rubber band, grabbing the bottom single and then just continue up. Same on the other side, finish up the blue where the body is. So there's her second wing. And now we are going to do the same thing. We're going to put what our hook for the top part where it's going to connect to the fifth peg on the other side. And then our grab our holding rubber band or our capping rubber band, the yellow one, and it's going to connect to the seventh. So let's go ahead and connect the holding rubber band to the seventh peg, that one, right across from the other one. And now go ahead and loop the wing, the upper part of the wing, onto the fifth peg. And make sure you get all the rubber bands on there. And pull it right over. Don't loop it inside the, onto the, that peg at all. Should be pretty out like that. Now let's put our holding rubber bands. So we're going to take two single rubber bands and we are going to put it right here where the wings are. Two single to give her a little bulk and then her bottom here, we'll just put one. And let's go ahead and put one single here, right here. So that's one single rubber band holding her near the bottom. One single up here and two in the center. And we can put one single around the uh, beak and the eyes. And we are going to take a single and doubling it and putting it around these three pegs right here, right above her body for the neck area. So that way it's a little tighter. And now here's the hard part here. We are going to put a single from this third peg to this third peg across her neck. That's the upper part of her neck right here. And we're going to try to make it cinch so it's like that, in that shape. So let's go ahead and pull down the rubber bands a little bit. Pull your rubber bands out. And if you can't do three, go ahead and do two. Two, three. So now we're going to kind of pull her legs to the side here because we are going to add her tail to the bottom and that will create the um, cap band. So using your, bringing your tail, you want to go ahead and loop it right onto that end peg and you want to turn it upside down because when you turn the tail right side up you can see it. So let's go ahead and attach it very carefully, pulling it off your hook and getting every single rubber band onto that peg there. There you go. And you turn, make sure the tail's turned around. Okay, now we're ready to loop. Let's go ahead and reach under all that tail rubber band there and grab the top three, which should go up 
to the center of the body and looping it onto itself and it should create a nice teardrop. And again, reach in there past all the tail rubber bands. Grabbing should be two. I just grabbed one and that goes just looping it right onto itself and you know you're doing it correctly when it's a clean teardrop like that and then let's go ahead and go up again if you can't see it pull it down pull get the bottom two rubber bands and looping it onto itself and let's go up the side of the body there same thing reach all the way under and you always want to make sure to look see that your prior rubber bands, the teardrops that were formed, are catching all your rubber bands. So continue up the side, reach in, grab the bottom two, and looping it onto itself. And again on the side, and up here we have quite a few rubber bands going on here. So let's go ahead, reach right in, side that peg, grab the top two, and it should be the shoulder rubber band. If you can't see it, pull it down a little bit. And don't grab the side neck rubber band, the singles. Just grab the top two that goes onto the shoulder there and then looping it onto itself. And then this other side, same thing. Reach all the way under, grabbing the bottom two and looping it onto itself. And keep going up the side. Reach in, grabbing the bottom two, then looping it onto itself. Again, I emphasize that you check to make sure your teardrops are catching your rubber bands, otherwise your animal's animal will, will fall apart. Make sure you grab, don't grab the neck rubber band, just grab the shoulder rubber bands and looping it onto itself. And now let's work up the center of her body. Go ahead and grab that center rubber band and looping it onto itself. And then up the to the neck there. Now let's go ahead. We want to check to make sure there's teardrops everywhere. Now go ahead and reach in that shoulder side there and pull that single rubber band and pulling it onto itself. Again, the other single, reach, pull the holding rubber band back and keep going up the neck area there. And this is a little tight, so you want to use your other hook to help release any tension because you don't want to break any rubber bands and go ahead and looping it onto the chin peg there. And let's do it on the other side, same thing. Now, this is pretty easy, although there's a lot of rubber bands. You want to just reach right under. If you can't see it, turn your peacock to the side. Try to find all your rubber bands. And you see the clean teardrop? Go ahead and pulling it onto itself. And you can look on the side and you see that the teardrop caught nicely. So go ahead and finish the neck. And you want to check before you go on that you have teardrop all down your body. And now here's the chin part, the fun chin part. We are going to go in and we're going to find the two top single rubber band that's going in between the beak there. We're going right onto that center peg and pull it up. And now let's go ahead and reach back in, grabbing the next two. And mine's going to the left, looping it onto itself. And the last two. OK, 
Okay, and now let's go up to the side and we're almost done. Make sure you reach in, pull everything back, just grabbing the bottom two, and check that you have teardrops catching. And the last piece will be the forehead. Okay, there's your peacock. And now I'm going to release a little bit of the neck rubber bands here to release some tension. But go ahead and now we, right here I took three rubber bands to do this to make the crest, I guess, of the, um, the peacock. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my yellow, my peach, and this time I'll do a purple since I added a purple or pink purple here in her wings. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can take whatever color you want. Take that and it's got also acting as a hold a slip knot rubber band. So go ahead and pull through that center and then looping it right onto, right through, and use your hook to guide it and tug it very gently. And now your peacock is ready to come off the loom. Very carefully, don't break your rubber bands. There she is. Make sure you pull that tight. Her crest rubber bands. And she's all sparkly with some glitter in the... in the rubber bands there, the yellow. And there's her side wings. Pull her toes forward. And there she is. And the last thing that you might want to do since her tail's so heavy and we attached it to the body, you can go ahead and right here I put a C-clip from one of her back string right here to the tail so that way she will show well for you like that. And there she is. I hope you like her. Thanks for watching.